Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Sa video na ito, pag-uusapan natin ng mean, variance, and standard deviation at ide-demo ko sa inyo kung paano ba sila makukuha through hand computation. Alright, sige, let's begin. Before ko i-demo sa inyo kung paano ba sila i-compute, first, balikan natin yung mga measures of central tendency and measures of variability. And then, mamaya, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung hand computation. So sige, mag-review muna tayo. So first, for the measures of central tendency, we have the mean, the median, and the mode. The mean is the average. So yung mean ay nakukuha natin with the formula summation of score, summation of x, divided by n. So ipig sabihin, dito total mo lahat ng score, tapos i-divide mo sa number of observations o sa number of participants. And etong mean ay ginagamit natin madalas kung ang ating data ay normally distributed. If you have a background in normal curve or normal distribution, that will help you get a better understanding of what I'm um, discussing here. No? But anyway, yung median naman is an alternative measure of central tendency na ang ginagawa naman niya ay hinahati niya yung distribution into two na magkapantay na hati and ginukuha natin yung median by arranging the scores from lowest to highest tapos hinahanap natin yung git ng score at yun yung magiging median. Si median naman ay ginagamit natin kapag yung yung distribution natin may mga outlier, ibig sabihin may mga taong nakakuha ng score na sobrang tataas or sobrang baba. Kasi kapag may mga outlier, may mga high scorer or very low scorer, naapektuhan nila yung mean kaya hindi siya nagiging accurate. Kaya mas nagiging mas um, accurate kapag si median yung ating kinuha. Yung namang mode ay siya yung pinakamadaling maobtain sa kanilang tatlo. Hahanapin mo lang ano ba yung number na pinakamadalas or pinaka nauulit doon sa distribution. Ito yung pinakamabilis makuha compared sa median at sa mean. Moving forward, sa measures of variability naman, tinutukoy nila kung gano'ng ka-spread or ka-disperse, gano'ng ba yung um, hiwa-hiwalay ba yung mga numbers sa isa't isa o dikit-dikit. Ganun yung dinidescribe nila. No? So yung standard deviation ay isa sa mga measures na yan, denoted by S no? or by lowercase sigma. Ang standard deviation, kamukha niya si mean pero hindi sila pareho. What am I trying to say here? Pag sinabi kasing mean, ina-average niya yung score. Pero pag sinabing standard deviation, ina-average niya yung deviation o yung layo ng bawat score sa mean. Okay? So, ang tinitingnan ng standard deviation is, gano kalayo on average yung isa't isang score from the mean? Ibig sabihin, kapag yung standard deviation ay maliit, magkakadikit yung mga score or malapit sila sa mean. Pero kapag ang standard deviation ay malaki, ibig sabihin layo-layo yung mga score. No? Malayo sila from the mean. Yun yung ibig niyang sabihin. Yung variance naman ay yung square ng standard deviation denoted by S squared or sigma squared. No? Halimbawa, kung ang standard depth natin ay 6, ang variance natin ay 36. No? Sir, bakit pa kailangan ng variance kung meron namang standard deviation? Well, Sa mga hand computation kasi ng variance at ng standard dev, usually sa mga formula, una natin kasi nakocompute si variance bago natin makuha si standard deviation. Kaya nakagawi na before you compute for the standard dev, inuuna muna si variance tapos kinukuha yung square root niya to get the standard deviation. Yan. Kasi usually, if we only stick with the variance, Mahi, nahihirapan tayong i-interpret kung ano ba yung ibig niyang sabihin kasi madalas masyado siyang malaki. Kaya ini-square root natin siya and tinatransform natin into standard deviation which will help us make more sense doon sa data at sa distribution at doon sa pagkakalayo-layo ng mga score sa isa't isa. Alright? Sige, i-demo na natin at this time kung paano nga ba i-compute no? by hand yung tinatawag na variance standard dev Pero uunahin natin si mean o si average. No? So, in this example, ito po ay galing sa book ni Levin and Company, Elementary Statistics and Social Research. And sa example ko, meron ako kunyaring 8 students. Tapos, gusto ko i-average, for example, yung score nila sa exam. So, to get the average, the first thing that we usually do is to add all the scores. So, nilalagay ko sa ilalim yung kanilang total and yung symbol na ginagamit ko dyan ay summation of x. Summation of x, inad ko lahat ng score. 
to get the mean, after mo makuha yung total ng score, kunin mo yung sample size o yung number of participants o yung number of observation mo. In this case, meron tayong 8 students, hanggang 8 sila, kaya 8 yung ating sample size. Then, to get the mean, our formula is the total or the summation of x divided by sample size divided by n. So that will be 580 divided by 8. Our mean is 72.5. So that is the mean. Ngayon, nakuha na natin yung mean. Ang gagamitin ko for the computation of the variance at ng standard dev ay yung method ni Levin et al. So I know that meron pa tayong tinatawag na deviation method na mas madalas ituro. Pero for this example, gagamitin ko yung tinatawag na raw score method na imbis na isubtract ko isa-isa yung mga score doon sa kanilang average, ang gagawin natin ay i-square natin kada isang score at ilalagay natin doon sa cell or doon sa kahon sa kanan nila. No? So, let's create a new column. Let, let's, um, ang title nito ay x squared. And then, i-square natin isa-isa yung mga score. No? 44 squared is equal to 9, uh, 1,936. 90 squared is equal to 8,100. 61 squared or 61 times 61 is equal to 3,721 and so on. So, lahat sila i-square natin. Tapos, ilalagay natin sa right side kung ano yung naging outcome no? after natin i-square. So, that will be 84 times 84, 7,056. 86 times 86, 7,396. So, kapag nagawa nyo na yan, the next step that you should um, take is that I-total nyo or i-add nyo lahat ng nandito sa x squared at ilagay nyo sa baba at tawagin natin yan na the summation of x squared. So, nintinotal ko yan using my scientific calculator. Ang nakuha ko ay 43,886. Hindi pa yan yung variance o yung standard dev. Yan pa lang yung total ng mga x squared. Para makuha natin yung s, um, eto na, hindi siya x ha, it's s squared, no? kung ano yung tinuturo ko ngayon. And remember from our discussion earlier, S squared is a, this is the variance. So, uunahin natin kunin yung variance before yung standard deviation. And according to Levin et al, this is the formula that they use no, sa kanilang raw score method. Summation of X squared divided by N minus mean quantity squared, where um, the summation of X squared is the total of all the squared scores. Ibig sabihin, nung inad ito, no? Kung ano total nila, meaning ito yun, 43,886. The N is the sample size o kung ilan yung respondent mo. Same pa rin kanina, meron tayong 8 respondents, so our sample size is 8. Yun namang M ay tumutukoy sa mean, in some references, ito ay X squared, pero in research, we use M, capital M, no? Pwede rin namang x bar, uh, not x, uh, x bar, no, sorry, x bar yung tinutukoy ko. Ayan, x bar squared or m squared, no, maski ano pa man yung ginagamit ninyo. Ang, ang dapat na nandito ay yung mean. And in the case of this example, yan ay 72.5, no. So, i-substitute natin isa-isa. Yan. So, for the summation of x squared, it's 43,886. Again, saan galing? Sa so, total ng lahat ng squared scores, 43,886. Sample size, n, 8. Kaya 8 kasi 8 yung respondents natin. 8 silang lahat. Yun namang m ay yung mean. Kanina, kinumpute natin, 72.5. So, 72.5 quantity squared. So, sige, proceed tayo with the computation. Pwede natin i-divide yung 43,886 by 8. We will obtain 5,485.75. At yung mean ay i-square natin. 72.5 times 72.5 is equal to um, 5,256.25. So kapag kinuha natin yung difference nila, ang magigi outcome ay 229.5. This will be our variance. Okay, our variance is 229.5. So, ngayon nakuha mo na yung variance mo, no? So, once nakuha nyo na yung variance nyo, madali na lang makuha yung standard deviation. And our formula is to simply get the square root. Okay, kunin mo yung square root ng, ng variance mo na 229.5. Ang nakuha ko ay 15.149, round off to two decimal places. Ang standard deviation ay 15.15. .15. Yan. So, 
Once again, S squared, tumutukoy sa variance. S, standard deviation. Alright, I hope um, naging klaro yung aking explanation. So ngayon, to close this video, let's have um, one last slide. Ngayon, no? understanding the standard deviation. So halimbawa, yung IQ ay may average na 100 at standard deviation na 15. Ano ngayon yung makukuha nating information from that? Pwede tayo actually mag-add ng one standard deviation. So 100 plus 15, makukuha natin yung 115. At yan yung tatawagin natin na one standard deviation above the mean. At pwede rin tayo mag-deduct ng one standard deviation. So the mean is 100 minus a standard deviation yun na 15. Makukuha natin yung score na 85 and let's call it one standard deviation below the mean. So, anong makukuha natin conclusion? Bakit tayo nag-add at nag-subtract ng one standard deviation? Well, yan yung tinatawag natin ngayon na average range. So, whenever makuha mo yung mean at yung standard depth pag mag-add at mag-subtract ka ng one standard deviation at kung ano yung range na makukuha mo, yan yung tinatawag na average range. Or in other words, kung ang score mo nasa pagitan ng 85 to 115 which is the average range for IQ, then your ability is average or normal. But if your score is outside this range, then you are different. Kunyari, yung IQ mo 130, ibig sabihin mas magaling ka compared sa mga kaedad mo. Pero unfortunately, kung yung IQ mo naman, for example, ay lower than 70, definitely outside the average range na yun, ibig sabihin, yung cognitive capabilities, capabilities ng isang tao ay medyo naglalag behind compared sa mga peers niya. Alright, so that is it for this video. I hope nakatugulong yung demonstration natin ng computation ng mean, standard deviation, at variance. And I hope to see you again next time for more statistics tutorials. Thank you. See you again.